Hey guys, it's Christian here from Core Electronics. Today we're going to undertake our first project set, which is involving light using the SparkFun Redboard. So the important thing to note about this project is that we're gonna be using LEDs. Now an LED is a light emitting diode, and the way that it works is it converts electrical potential into visible light. So this is an LED. You'll notice that in your guide, it specifies that there's two new concepts that we're going to have to look at in this first circuit. So the first one is that of polarity. Unlike a resistor, an LED actually possesses polarity. So that means that the longer leg needs to be connected to a higher potential and the shorter leg needs to be connected to a lower potential. This is just because of the way that the diode part of the LED works and it's very important to know because it only lets electricity flow in one way. If you uh, connect it up backwards, it could possibly burn out or break the LED. So the other thing to note is that the current going through the LED needs to be minimized. Now, the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna use a 330 ohm resistor, and that's usually enough to stop it from overheating or once again, burning out and breaking. So very important, before we connect anything here, we wanna make sure that the breadboard is disconnected from the uh, power using the USB port. Now, the reason for this is because we don't want to burn out any components or leave any uh, floating voltages anywhere. So make sure that it's disconnected. And with that said, let's begin making the first circuit. So the first circuit uses an LED, a resistor and two jumper leads. So we're going to use the LED and we're going to place the long tail or the long leg in uh, part 2A and the short leg in part 1A. Once that's done, we'll connect the resistor from E2 to F2, like so. Now, I personally like to use the red wires to represent positive 5 volt power or 3.3 volt power for using 3.3 volt and the black, the black wires to represent ground. So we'll connect the ground one to E1, making sure that that is indeed the short leg of the LED. And we'll correct, connect the red wire from J2 to pin 13. Okay, once that's done, we can open up the Arduino IDE that we installed in the previous tutorial and we'll get to programming. So before we program anything, now that the connections are made, we can actually connect the USB to the redboard and it'll initialize. If there's any programs previously on it, it will run them. Okay, back to the IDE. So we have two functions that we're looking at here that it defaults to. Uh, they are the setup function and the loop function. The setup function we use for any sort of code that we only want to run one time, and the loop function is what you we go, what we use to go again and again and again and again. So in the setup function, we're going to state that we want pin 13 to be an output because we want to output light. So we're going to use the function pin mode. Very similar to how we set up our hello world example in the previous video. So we're setting the pin 13 to an output. So we specify the pin and then we specify whether it's an input or an output. Now we're gonna to go to loop. We're gonna use the exact same code that we used in our hello world example. We're gonna use digital write and digital write, we're gonna to write to pin 13 and we're gonna write a high. Then we're gonna use the delay function. We're going to delay for 2000 milliseconds or two seconds. Then we're gonna digital write a low to pin 13. And then we're gonna delay it again for the same amount of time. Now it's important to note that we use semicolons at the end of lines to terminate the line. And once that's done, we will double check that our port and our board are connected to the right one. So for me, it's COM9, because if we go into Device Manager, it'll say that I have 
something, the USB serial port, which is this, connected to port 9. Okay, now that that's done, it'll ask us to save it. So we're going to save it as circuit 1A. So it'll compile the sketch down here. And then once that's done, it'll upload it to the board. And what we should see is it initializing. And then it should flash on for two seconds, off for two seconds, on for two seconds, off for two seconds, as long as this power is connected. Note that if we disconnect this, and then reconnect it, the program that we've just written will be saved on it. So it'll initialize and then it should run again, on for two seconds, off for two seconds. And that's all there is to it for the first circuit. So I will catch you guys in the next video where we'll do circuit 1B.